about it like a game. Just listen to what I'm saying and do it and take a chance. I put my hand up on your hip. Welcome to another episode of The Tip. I am your host, TV Chips, and things look a little different. Uh, I'm doing another video right after this, and uh, I didn't really have the time. It's a little late at night. I just got back from a thing with a thing. So I didn't really have time to put everything together, but I wanted to open this box because this box came yesterday, and it has been... It's been eating at my soul to get into this box. Uh, Legion of Collectors is the DC Funko bi-monthly subscription box. This is the last box for the for the first year of their existence. So they've done uh, five other boxes. This is box number six, and it is going to be amazing. The theme is, as you can see here, right here, that's a little Batman, that's a little old school Batman. This is DC Legends. Um, now, it's Legends, so the thing of it is, is that I don't think um, you're going to see the old school, old school stuff. You're not going to see that. What you're going to see is what I think from the pictures that they were teasing, I think we're going to see some of that stuff from the 70s. They've teased Plastic Man. There's been some debate on whether it might be Plastic Man or Elongated Man, but something from one of those two is more than likely going to be in this box. They also teased a swamp. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that means a swamp thing. Some little wink winks peoples have been suggesting that that's the Legion of Doom. I don't agree. I don't agree. It's not their swamp base. This is going to have something swamp thing in it. Put it on the books. That little swamp preview, swamp thing. And then uh, what I am really excited about, so excited about, they teased Crypto. Superman's dog, yo. Crypto, 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 crypto. So, very excited to open this box. So, let's get to it. Once again, I still don't have my knife. So, I'm going to... Oh, ooh, that was dangerous. Also, we're going to spell off the top of the pin tower. I'm going to take a pin, like I've done over the past few videos. I promise, the next unboxing, I will have that knife. I am slacking, and I apologize. You deserve better. All right, put that back there, thusly end DC Legends. Here we go. Um, I'm really excited about this box. I'm a huge DC Comics nut. Huge DC Comics nut. Um, and so this is, this is in my wheelhouse. I've loved all of the DC Legion of Collectors boxes up to this point, but none of them have really, have really quenched that comic book thirst, and this, I think, is going to come close. Like I said, it's going to probably have a lot to do with the 70s, the cartoons and whatnot, like the Super Friends and stuff, but it's still going to quench that thirst. Okay, here we go. All right. So we open the box. Here we go. And up top, that's what we got. What do you see? What do you guys see? Tell me what you see. What do you see? Tell me what you see. All right, I'm just going to look, because I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm, just, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna rip it out of the thing. Green Arrow Patch. Old school Oliver Queen with his little uh, Robin Hood hat, the feather in the cap. Oh, that is sweet. And that is like super old school. God, that is so cool. It's got the, the old school kind of logo. That is an awesome patch. I think that's probably my favorite patch of all of them so far. Um, that is so sweet. So awesome, awesome, sweet. And the pin... What? The pin is in fact... Oh, the, oh it's so strong. Whew, I'm a little winded. Oh, oh hey, well, the bag was ripped. I could have just taken it out. The pin is Swamp Thing. Oh, and this pin is amazing. Oh, this is so cool. Super old school Swamp Thing. Um, the new school Swamp Thing is kind of weird looking. I don't know what to think of it. Uh, he doesn't remind me of Swamp Thing, but this is Swamp Thing. Oh, so cool. Okay. Oh, that is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. 
So, so far, this has been my favorite. Of the Legion of Collectors boxes we've gotten, this is my favorite so far. That Supergirl patch is legit, but this is my favorite, and that is by far, even though we got a Superman pin, he's right there, that's my favorite pin so far from any of the subscription boxes, I think. Um, next to maybe Chunk uh, from the band box, uh, the 80s band box, I think, uh, yeah, I think Chunk and uh, Swamp Thing, those are my two favorite pins that I've gotten. Oh, 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 that is so awesome. And I found my Transformers pin. Doesn't really mean anything to you because I don't think you knew that I was missing it, but I found it, so cool. All right, so we will open the box and we will go further into it. Here's the spoiler card. I'm gonna just set it right there. I already know the theme for next month's box, but I'm still pretty excited seeing that picture. Okay, all right, first up we have the comic book. The comic book is Aquaman, Aquaman, Aquaman. Oh, Adventure Comics number 452 starring Aquaman. This is an old ass comic. Um, 452 Adventure, uh, I think this is, uh, I think this was like the last appearance of Aquaman in Adventure Comics. Um, this is a significant issue. Uh, this was a culmination of, um, there was a culmination of a battle between Manta, Black Manta, right there, and Aquaman, right there, um, that, um, that resulted in his, uh, his, like, these, uh, octopuses, which these are, like, eels, maybe they were eels, I don't remember, uh, he had them under mind control, and they were kind of attacking Aquaman, but then he was like, no, 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 hey, guess what, I can still, so that's pretty cool, so this is awesome, normally they'll do, like, a number one from, like, a newer comic, this is an old school comic, um, this is old. Uh, Adventure Comics 452. Urgh. Let me see here real quick. Uh, yeah, this is an old uh, comic book. Um, uh, 452. Uh, I want to say 70s? Uh, 452. Oh, uh, yeah, August 1977. So this is, a, this is an original. This comic is uh, from 1977. Uh, and, um, this is a variant cover, and it's Adam Archer, who does a lot of the pop covers, um, for, uh, Legion of Collectors, and I think also for, uh, Marvel Collector Corps. He, he does great work, and this is just proof. This is probably one of the coolest comics I own right now. I don't have, um, I don't have any 70s Aquaman comics. I don't have any adventure comics, uh, really at all. Most of my stuff is from the 80s and 90s, so... That is super, super sweet. Oh my God. I want to open this and read this right now. Like literally, I, just, I legitimately want to open this and read this on camera and just make you guys watch me read this because that's how I find about this. I'm not going to because it would be a jerk move, but I want to. All right, next up the shirt. The shirt is blue. The shirt is blue. It's like this color blue. I'm gonna try not to freak out. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try. Not to freak out. I make no promises. Look how blue it is. Oh my god. <gasps> 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 yes. Oh, oh. Oh, it's crypto. It's crypto. The super dog. Crypto. The super dog. Crypto, crypto, crypto. It's crypto. The super dog. It's crypto. The super dog. It's a ringer tea, which we got last month in the, um, the Legion of the Marvel Collector Corps, we got a, a, a ringer tee, which I really liked. Oh my god. It's Crypto. Crypto, the super dog. This is awesome. I am. Oh. As you can probably tell, I'm a little bit of a Superman fan. Uh, and this is like my favorite t shirt. And this now may be my favorite t shirt. This is so very cool. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, I just want to smell it. You ever love something so much, you see something so much and you love it, and you're like, I just gotta, I just gotta smell it. That's how I feel right now about this shirt. This box has been a home run, and we haven't even really gotten into the meat and potatoes of the box. This is, I mean, it's all uphill from here. I don't think there's anything in this box at this point that's going to bring it down. Let's see, that's the pop, and I don't know what this is. Is this Dorbs? Maybe Dorbs? 
Nope. This is... Oh, that's pretty cool. This is a Batman and Robin salt and pepper shaker. So you've got the old school Batman and Robin. Um, oh, that's really cool. And salt and pepper, that's cool. That's neat. I like that. This is a Legion of Collectors exclusive. You got the little sticker there. Um, I know they make these. I think the one that they make has um, Superman and Wonder Woman and then Batman and Joker. Um, and I think it's like the Cesar Romero Joker, maybe. I don't remember. Maybe not. Maybe it's maybe it's the, the weird, squiggly, swirly eye Joker. I don't know which one it is, but I think they have Batman and Joker. So that's really, really cool. They did also tease jo uh, Robin. Now that I think about it, they did also tease Robin in this box. So that's, that's awesome. I like that a lot. That is really neat. They're like ceramic, I think. I think these are ceramic. Doesn't really say... Yeah, I'm guessing these are ceramic. Yeah, I think these are ceramic. If not, they're like a hard plastic. Still pretty cool. All right. One last thing in the box, and it appears to be the pop. Okay. Now they have teased... Well, the only thing left is Plastic Man or Elongated Man, right? Yeah. That's pretty cool. And they did tease that this would be a unique pop that's never been done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And the back. Oh my gosh. Oh. This is. Oh my gosh. This box has been amazing. I mean. Wow. So this is Plastic Man. Because <laughs> I totally lost train of thought. Uh, this is Plastic Man. He is a little bit of an unknown character for the most part, I think, in uh, DC comic lore. He's kind of been lost. Um, he was pretty popular in, like, the 60s and 70s, um, as you can kind of tell by his outfit. Um, and he's got a fun kind of past. He was originally a criminal, and, um, he was shot, and he fell into, like, some chemicals, kind of similar, kind of similar to the Joker. Um, the chemicals got into his wound, his bullet hole, and just jacked up his insides, and so now he can just stretch his limbs, um any which way and god the design on this pop is amazing his feet are really big uh his torso is all contorted uh his hands are different sizes um god this is so cool he's got his trademark sunglasses this is an awesome looking pop oh my god just the design of it alone i mean he's got his cool little kind of hair and yeah that is awesome oh my god See, that's the thing about the, these Legion of Collectors boxes and then the Marvel Collector War 2. They can do a little bit of an unknown pop. They can take that chance because they're telling you what's in it. We're, we know we're not going to get, you know, uh, we know we're not going to get a, a 2015 uh, style Harley Quinn. We're not going to get a new 52 um, Aquaman. We're not going to get Convergence Batman. We're getting DC Legends. We know what's in this box. So they can take a chance and give us a really cool old school pop like Plastic Man with just his awesome body shape and and we're gonna love it because like that's what we want. Like if I didn't want this box, if I was like, ah, I'm not digging DC Legends, I could just not subscribe to this box and go to another one. So they can get away with it and they don't have to mass produce and, and worry about them selling because they're gonna they're gonna sell. Such a cool, and the design on the box, you got a little lantern, you got a little arrow, oh, so cool. So, so cool. This box is everything. This box is bay, as the kids say. This box is bay. This comic, are you kidding me? You're gonna give me a 70s era, uh, you know, variant cover Aquaman comic? Yeah, I'll take that all day. I, you know, yeah, I'll take that all day. You're gonna give me a, a Plastic Man pop with this badass body shape. You're gonna give me Batman and Robin salt and pepper shakers. You're gonna give me a super cool Swamp Thing pin. This totally BA green arrow patch. And then, and then, that's not even counting the Crypto shirt. Ah, uh, this is probably the 
No, this is, I would say, next to the 80s BAM box. Next to the 80s BAM box, this is the best subscription box I've ever gotten. I've only been doing this for about a year now, but this is the best box I've ever gotten. And, um, it, yeah, I think it's even better than the 80s, uh, uh, that 80s BAM box, even though that thing was amazing. Um, this just, I mean, just on the, the sum of the parts, just, you know, the, the individualized of the parts, the individual parts all alone are so cool. And then you add in the two all together, and I only paid like 30 bucks for this thing. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's amazing. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I am so excited. I just, I, I can't stop smelling this shirt, and I don't know why. That's how much I love this shirt. I just, I'm like, yeah, I'm loving it. Okay, okay. So, uh, so yeah, so let's go over the spoiler card real quick. Before I get ahead of myself, because I'm forgetting everything, because I'm so, uh, hyped up by this box, I don't know, up from down. Okay, so, um, everybody got the Plastic Man Pop, and, um, yeah, again, it says, uh, his name was Eel O'Brien, and he gained his powers in an accident and decided to change his way. So, yeah, he fell in a bat of, uh, he was, he was always, like, a super superhero. He fell in a bat of chemicals, they got in his bullet wound, he got all this ability to be plastic, and he decided to use his powers for good. And, um, he's been a little, you know, he's not been the most, you know, clean cut of the good guys, but he's been, you know, a pretty, pretty cool guy. Um, Aquaman is a founding member of the Justice League of America. He debuted in More Fun Comics, number 73, in 1941, before moving to Adventure Comics through the 40s and 50s, then received his own series in 1962. This box includes a classic issue of Adventure Comics featuring Aqualad, Black Manta, alongside Aquaman. So, this may be, like... Yeah, this was a this was a big run for Aquaman. It was super like legendary, and um, I think even Aqualad dies or Aqua. Yeah, maybe Aqualad dies. It's been a long time. I've never fully actually read the comic, so I don't know the exact details. But that's that was that storyline where Black Manta was just gonna like kill Aqualad or something like that. Um, Everybody got the salt and pepper shakers. Uh, everybody got Swamp Thing and Green Arrow. However, not everybody got Crypto. It looks like you could have gotten a gray Ace the Bathound uh, shirt. Uh, still a ringer tee. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Ace is, wow, that's that's not a very well-known character. That's pretty cool. I like what they did there. I like the I like the these options. I'm so glad I got Crypto, though. Um, I probably would have loved Ace, too, but, I mean, gosh, this is... Oh, I'm going to sell the small shirt one more time, because... Oh, my God. Okay, so, now, all that aside, all of this amazing things aside, let me just take a second to tell you what next month's box is. If you don't know already, if you don't subscribe to Funko's sites and whatnot, you probably don't know, next month's theme is one that I'm super hyped about. Next month's theme is Superman. Yes, Superman is getting his own box. It's about time. I knew it was coming eventually. I thought they would get it in in year one, um, and then they did this legacy box. And I was like, well, that's strange, but um, Superman's going to get his justice, uh, if you will. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, Superman's going to get his justice, and he is going to get his own box, and that's going to start shipping March 1st. So, if you would like to sign up for DC Legion of Collectors after seeing this box, I don't know how you could not. Um, I'll leave all of the info in the description below so you can subscribe because you're going to have to get your hands on this. Superman, I mean, I love Batman. I love, I love Aquaman and Batman, but Superman's logo is just, I mean, that's, that's what it's all about. You know what I mean? Superman has the best logo in all of comic books so um and it's just pretty much been the same you know it, it hasn't really changed all that much so very very cool very excited about that i love superman oh love it love it i'm so excited um so that is uh, this month's box uh again like i said i will leave all of the information in the description below if you would like to sign up for dc legion of collectors i highly recommend all right, so uh, let me know what you thought about the box. Uh, if you uh, liked any of the items, if you thought any of it was crap, uh, which I don't think you could because it's amazing. 
Um, and let me know, what was your favorite item? Did you get the box? Did you get that crypto shirt? Or that, I'm sorry, that uh, Ace shirt? Because I would like to see that. That looks pretty cool. I might even see if I can go ahead and like go on like eBay or something to get my hands on that shirt. Because that shirt, I bet you, is pretty dope too. Um, but I guess, I'm going to guess a lot. Not a lot of people are probably going to want to get rid of it. So, uh, again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you have not already, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking the little subscribe subscribe right there. And uh, you'll get notified when I do new videos. And um, I'll have more, I'll have my, my regular set back for, for the next unboxing that I do. And I will have my knife back for that too. So, thank you very much for watching. You guys have a wonderful night, day, afternoon, whatever. All right, I'll see ya.